So, um, starting our new podcast devoted to uh, the Hammer films um, is giving me a good excuse to upgrade um, my Hammer collection from DVD to Blu-ray. And um, one of the films I went online to try and upgrade uh, without much success is um, Captain Kronos, Vampire Hunter, my favourite Hammer vampire film. Um, and I love it dearly, and I've only got the DVD. Um, yeah, I was looking around for Blu-ray on eBay, and uh, th I think there's a German version, um, and another one, can't remember from where, but now I'm holding out for a definitive, you know, um, uh, release at some point, that would be really nice. Um, but no, while I was on eBay, I was scrolling down, I just typed in Captain Kronos, and I was just scrolling down past, you know, the posters and and, and, the, and, the, and the like, and uh, I stumbled across these um, trading cards, which I had absolutely no uh, knowledge of, that uh, uh, a company called Unstoppable um, do trading card sets, and they quite a diverse range. They've done uh, the Avengers, they've done um, Space 1999, and they've done various Hammer sets. Um, be they, um, you know, a variety of Hammer films in one set, or these things, which are specific sets. It's the, as you can see, it's the Hammer Platinum Collection. This is number five. Um, and uh, they're limited edition, as you can see up here. It is number 262 of only 300 sets produced, all right? And as you can see, it's a set of a limited edition 18 card set of only 300 worldwide exploring Hammer's cult classic, Captain Kronos Vampire Hunter, includes an exclusive genuine hand-signed autograph card by Caroline Munro. Look out for the very limited Hammer movie genuine cut autograph cards inserted in one of 20 boxes so no rummaging through boxes to try and find it this is a sealed box as you can see it's got the sealed thing there it's got the sealed thing up there um, and I could just leave it sealed and and know that I've got a, a sealed set but what's the point in that I want to have a look at the cards all right and uh, dig out my little Caroline Munro all right so here we go I'm going to, this is an unboxing, get me scalpel out, give it a cut, and let's see what we've got. Oh, we've got polystyrene watsits. Uh -huh. That's it, yep, nothing else in there. Let's have a look. It's been handwritten 262 out of 300. Right. No idea what order these go in, but let's take them one by one. Can you see that all right? Okay, they're lovely and shiny. Oh, we've got some fun facts. I wish that had become true. The film was intended as the first in a series featuring a time traveling swordsman. Captain Kronos. Yeah, and um, you know, Deskin and his uh, uh, House of Hammer magazine for a brief time continued his adventures. Um, Brian Clemens, Clemens, the creator of Captain Kronos, that's why he's got the name Kronos. It's time. He is a time traveller. He would have gone throughout history battling evil and supernatural forces, you know. Um, and Hammer, a few years back, they did resurrect. Um, Captain Kronos, Dan Abnett, the brilliant Dan Abnett, writer Dan Abnett, um, uh, uh, did a short run series, but uh, it would be nice to have seen the film continue. I mean, Hammer's back now, or they say they're back. Um, yeah, resurrect Captain Kronos is what I say. All right, let's go through them one by one then. All right, so such a ladies' man. Okay, fun facts. It's the end of the film. They're lovely and shiny, these. Yeah, everyone's going to have fun facts, I think, then. All right. Uh, the rather dodgy twins. 
nice behind the scenes photos in here come on there we go yeah <laughs> that's from the opening it looks like Peter Cushing in drag don't you think yeah I've never seen that I've seen an awful lot of photos from Captain Kronos but never seen that one before uh, the lovely Caroline could this be the signed one I mean we've got a portrait of Caroline nope more fun facts and again that's, that looks like Brian Clemens there who wrote it and produced it yeah that's Brian such a uh, swashbuckler such a great film if you've never seen it um, Brian again if you've never seen it, I do urge you to. It, 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 it's a bit of an oddity, but it, it, it's great. It, it's great fun, if, especially if you're a fan of Brian Clemens's uh, run on uh, the Avengers, the British Avengers, that is. Um, yeah, it's very much in uh, in the same uh, style. Good old Grost. Yeah, these are really nice. I'm glad I got these. I'm not really one for trading cards, um, but uh, yeah, I've got I've got a few, but not many. Are we in Hendry there? <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll say no more. If you've never seen Captain Kronos, I do urge you to to seek it out. It is a terrific film, and it's got some very novel uh, ideas regarding vampires. Must be get, getting near the end now. <laughs> Another terrific scene. Very memorable scene from the film. How to Kill a Vampire. Unconvincing pock marks. That's a nice shot. Never seen that one either. Right, we must be near the end now. I've never seen that shot either. Well, I'm really glad I got these. Aha, I think that, yeah, the signed one's coming up. Last photo one. Like so. There we go. And there's the signed photo congratulations you have found a limited edition genuine hand signed autograph kind signed by Caroline Munro Carla so there we go yeah really glad I got those I'm gonna get a, a a sleeve thing for them to display them rather than just keep them in the box um, this is just part one um, Part, this is part one, end of part one. Part two is uh, coming up because um, as soon as I got this, there was another one that I found while going on the uh, the eBay uh, sellers page. And there's another Hammer film uh, that I love dearly, another oddity. And uh, I had to have that. So that's on its way um, as I uh, record. Um, but I'll be along in a second once it's arrived. Okay, it's been about a second for you. It's five days later for me. A um, bit of a difference in light quality today. The weather is appalling. The light is terrible, um, but uh, hopefully you can make that out all right. So yeah, my second pack is uh, The Lost Continent. And again, sealed and numbered 52 of 250, an indicator of how this is much a much lesser known Hammer film than Captain Kronos. Um, I wouldn't call it obscure, it's just not that well known, um, which is a real shame. I say it's a real shame, but also, you know, it's about films like yeah, like uh, Horror Express and that. The fact that not many people know about it actually adds to the, the cult status of it. Uh, yeah, uh, how to describe The Lost Continent. Continent. It's a, it's a real oddity. You, you know, it starts off... Um, on board this ship in like the 1920s and it's it's almost like a drama you've got all these uh, people with secrets and they're not getting on um, and then they end up in this mass of 
uh, killer seaweed stranded um, which is bizarre enough and then we find out that there's uh, all sorts of manner of uh, giant crab creatures which adds to the bizarreness of it and then nobody expects the Spanish Spanish Inquisition but uh, along come the Spanish Inquisition because there's a ship that's been there since the time of the Spanish Inquisition and the descendants are on this uh, uh, um, you, you know rotting hulk and uh, it, it it's a bizarre film and but it's also one of my favorite hammer films because it is just so odd and bizarre um i urge you to seek it out i don't know if it's available still or you can see it on here on youtube but uh worth a look and uh yeah all great fun takes me back to seeing it late one night on bbc one you know back in the 80s um so let, let's open this this is uh, platinum collection three Something a bit different that I didn't get with the Captain Kronos one is uh, there's this, a a Platinum Collection Dealer promo, exclusive promo card with old Dana Gillespie there and one of the crab creatures. I'm sure after the filming that they were all just like destroyed and thrown on a bonfire or something, which is just just sacrilege these days isn't it right let's open up and same as last time we'll have a look yep still got the styrofoam chips get rid of them oh wrong way around saving the sign card till last so let's have a look shall we no it's not coming open that way so I'm gonna have to open it that way here we go then. So, same thing. 18 cards. I'm hoping, like the um, like the uh, Captain Kronos ones, there's going to be images not seen before. So here we go. Again, handwritten. 52, 250. There's. I'm I'm refraining from any um, obvious Dino Gillespie and her balloons jokes here. All right. Very distinguished actors you get in this oddity. There's an oddity. That's the uh, the big uh, Welk Mollusky one. This is when it's just a standard drama, or you think it's a standard drama. Yep, Michael Carreras. Uh, behind the scenes, not seen that shot before. That's towards the end when they're on the Spanish Galleon. Dana. Very creepy, this guy. Good old Susanna Lee. The child ruler. This is right at the beginning of the film. When you think it's going to be just a pot boiler drama. That's the ship when it's become stranded in this Sargasso Sea. my favorite of the creatures this one that lives in a rock um, with his lovely glowing eyes um, I love him so much that's why he's my uh, image on our Facebook page excellent stuff the big question here is uh, am I going to go further forward am I going to get more sets and I I really don't know at the moment these are the two if I had to choose two, these these two films are the films. That's me realising there's even more to buy. Okay. Oh, Michael again. That is quite a little hug he's given her, don't you think? Oh, no, these are great. Not seen that photo before. Yeah, that, that one was ev absolutely everywhere. I think he's the chef. I haven't watched um, Lost Continent for quite a while. And um, I've done it before for the Effectively Speaking show. Um, but I'm looking forward to when we um, do this on our on our podcast. Because we have to vote, vote on the, uh, the bad guys. And uh, it's going to be interesting to see where the likes of this fella um, sit alongside the likes of uh, Christopher Lee's Dracula and... Frankenstein, etc., etc. Almost near the end now. 
So we're getting near the signed photo. Oh, Susanna posing for publicity, as they did back then. And that's the uh, unconvincing battle between the scorpion creature and the mollusk creature. All right, so that's your standard set. And then finally, the congratulations card. And there we go. Signed photo from Dino Gillespie. And I don't know how rare this is. I, 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 I've, I've never seen her on the convention circuit. So I don't know how rare that is. But that's a, that's a good old set. There we go. The big question is... Oh, sorry. I'm looking at that and not what's appearing on the screen. There we go. Um, the big question now is... Do I get any more?